Annalise and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be showing you my puppy haul, so things that I brought for my puppy. I have actually got a nine week old puppy, he is a cross between a Pomeranian and a Yorkshire Terrier, so they call them either a Porky or a Yorkie Palm or a Uranian, we call him a Porky, <laughs> which actually sounds quite good. So um, yes, his name is Milo, M-Y-L-O. He's actually got an Instagram, which I'll link in the description box below. So his Instagram is actually Milo underscore the underscore Porky. Um, post lots of pictures on there. He's absolutely adorable. He's so beautiful. So the next time you will see him will be on my um, weekly vlog. So go check that out. That will be actually after this video. So I'm going to start by showing you everything we've got. His crate and his other little toys are actually in the, um, well, they're in the bedroom at the moment because he's actually asleep. So I will show them after also, his bowls, um, we did actually show you on the vlogs, so go check those out because they was a sneak peek before we actually got little Milo. We got Milo a few weeks ago now. Um, we had him a little bit earlier, which actually is better for us because he's learnt so much. He goes out to the toilet, he's actually had his first injections and his microchip in. And he's having his second injections on Friday. It's nice and day to day, so he hasn't got that long. And then a week after that, he can go out into the real world, into the big world um, for a walk. At the moment, his harness is still a little bit big. He's only tiny, so if you do want to go see him, again, go check out the vlog that will be after this. So I'll crack on and I'll show you what I actually got. So let's start with... Mm. we'll start with the toys <laughs> okay so <clears throat> the first toy these we brought from Aldi so Sean was just going in for our local you know normal shop and basically he come across these I think it was like a pet week or something like that they was on the special buyers so we got this and this is called a dog to puss so I'm gonna squeak it so if anyone's got any um headphones or anything or earphones just so it's a squeaky toy and it's got a cute little tail the ears and the legs and the crinkle as well <coughs> he absolutely loves this toy so he got that from Aldi and then he also oh that's it then Sean got this now he hasn't used this yet so he's been with us three weeks today. This, oh sorry, about the price. This one was $2.99, sorry. Um, and this was the second one from Aldi. He hasn't had that yet. He's literally got loads of toys. We are gonna give him this uh, when he has his injections and there's another thing we need to give him as well. So this is a bull feet dog toy and it was $4.99. As you see, he's still got the thing on, tag. So it's a cute little um, lion with like tennis ball legs so he can chew and play with that and it can <laughs> so um, yeah so that one's a really good buy that was Aldi again for 99 and then on to this one so this was from Pets at Home I think it was on sale for £8 instead of 10 or something like that. It's about that. And it is a snuggle and cuddle. So basically, it's got rope arms so you can tug. It's bigger than him. He's only tiny and he ain't going to be a big dog either. He's only very small, like a toy breed, so he's only small. So these are the rope legs, as you can see. So they're really sturdy and I'm tugging on them. And then again, I'm going to got a little squeak so he hasn't had this one yet when he does obviously the tags come off but he is going to have um this one on friday so he's gonna have that the next one is this was just uh, it was one of my toys 
so um well, one of my teddies so he's got this and he's been chewing the nose but it's just literally this so it's just an old like Christmassy one that he likes he does actually like this one the next one I'll start with this Sean went into Morrison's the other I think it was about two weeks ago and got in this now this did used to squeak um this was three pounds this used to squeak but it then came out and obviously I didn't want um, Milo to eat or choke on that at all so obviously we took that out and then he just uses it so this is his little chicken and he literally grabs this and like rags it everywhere he loves this and because obviously he's half um, a Yorkshire Terrier he's got that like you know raggy so he likes that so these are really really good so that one's good he'll take in the garden then we brought this for I think it was three pounds this is absolutely good bigger than him again but it's just basically a rope so he tugs on it again he's a terrier half terrier so these are amazing for those so um yeah he just rags with that he holds it and he trots along he, got, he takes it everywhere so this was pets at home and this was only three pounds so he loves this as well so it's a great idea and then this was from you can get these anywhere but this was from one of our local pet stores i think it was eight pounds it's a kong now this is a big well it's not the biggest one but this is you can have the little ones i brought him a bit bigger one and i'm and he literally just chews it he loves this so this is a kong toy i think it was eight pounds eight ninety nine something like that but he absolutely loves this so i just say go and get your kong and literally he runs and gets it so um yeah he loves that and then the final toy well kind of toy um is this huge giraffe and if you can hear and then so he's got the um like crinkle feet he's actually again a lot bigger than milo but milo absolutely loves him so he really does love his little giraffe so this was pets at home it was meant to be 12 pounds and we got it for 10 pounds which again it's a bargain so we've got that for him and it does really really like that pets at home have actually got some really really good toys i mean most pet stores do but pets at home are really good for that then this is as you can see he's used it a little bit so this is literally this was i think two pounds or three pounds but something cheap like that pets at home again it can be thrown for 50 meters so as you do that and oh i'm doing it there you go and it just literally like clicks in and you can throw it and he will go and get it at the moment he's he does bring it kind of back but his recall of that he's not 100 percent yet but as i said he's no weeks old and he's already known you know he does know five commands so he's doing really really well so that was a really good one as well because when we start going taking him for a walk and we go into like fields and things like that this is brilliant also if any of you are wheelchair um users or it's hard for you to bend or something like that this is actually really good because when we're in the garden and i can't get down to pick up this i literally just go in my wheelchair and just like tap it across and then i can do it again so it's easier for milo you know and it's also really easy for me as well so that is really good next i'll show you the beds so like i said he has got a bed but at the moment he's sleeping what i'll do is i'll do this and then i'll show you in a bit his other bed he's got three i know i'm a crazy dog mom i know um so yeah we did go a little overboard so the first bed we ever got him was this bed this was from again Aldi and I think it was I don't know if it's like 99 or 10 pounds or something like that it's in that region wasn't a lot of money at all and it's only it's only small but it's super super cute for him because he absolutely loves this so that and it's really soft as well it's not you can't take it out but it is quite deep um and it's so cushiony as well so that's one of the beds he does love that the next bed 
was this one. Now, my mum and dad found this in pound stretchers and it was in a pound stretcher because they've got like a section where there's all animal stuff and she facetimed me and says oh we found another bed well obviously our theme is crushed velvet and i was like i need it i definitely need that this was 14.99 i think something like that it wasn't a lot of money at all this one's a lot bigger and obviously when he grows as well he will obviously still get in here because as i said it's not going to be a big breed at all it's only going to be small so this is it so if you can see it's a big bed it's crushed velvet it's super comfy and soft he loves this this does not detach but it is you can wash this it's machine washable so you can't tumble dry but it is machine washable at a 30. so this is beautiful and then the bottom is just like you know it's like a hard wearing material but it's really really nice so he loves that bed. We keep that on the sofa because we've got a corner sofa and he loves that. So that one was Pound Stretcher and then this one was Aldi. Then the next thing we actually got from Aldi, as I said, because it was like some sort of um, animal slash dog week, we came across this. He loves this. He uses this all the time. So basically it's a water bottle so you can clip it onto yourself or clip it onto the lead whatever you want to do so you literally just pop it like this pop 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 take the lid off and then squeeze it out and then he has the water when we've taken him in the car because we're getting used to the car he uses this and there's no problem at all and this is like you know it's quite sturdy as well so it's really good this was 3 99 so we thought that was amazing price as well so he's got that now on to the other things so this one is a brush this was from let me think it was from pound stretcher so this one again my mum and dad picked up for me it was from pound stretcher it's only 99 pence we do want a proper brush as he that is annoying guys sorry um as he gets older obviously he will have a proper brush but at the moment this one's a harder bristle and then a soft bristle so it's only little but that is that this is a really really good brush you know for him being you know young so we've got that i have also got a shampoo which i brought it's called puppy love by animalology or something like that from pets at home five pound fifty i'll show you that when i show you the bed so i'll remember to do that right on to oh well i'm also on that we actually brought him a blanket as well this one was from the same place which was the pound stretcher i totally forget um this was 2.99 and it's lovely it goes big it's got some little bones on and some paw prints he uses that in the living room and then we did also buy him one to go over the crate not over the top but through the back and at the top so it keeps a bit of the you know warmth him and things like that and that was 5.99 and that was also from pound stretchers as well which i will show you when we go in there so that's that now on to his collar so so this collar we got him at the moment still a little bit big this was the smallest size i think it was an xl xl i think it was an x small or double x small something like that and it is one of those it's a reflector one as well so when we're at you know walking at night you will definitely see him and it's just one of those easy clips and then the next thing we did do is we paid for a tag now the tags they do suggest in pets at home not to have the name on now i was going in and i was going to buy him with his name on but they suggested not to because of recall situations obviously if you got out and if you call his name and he just generally comes to his name then obviously 
it's a bit hard to say that it's our dog so what you do is you can do what you want everyone to their own we just decided to put our details on so obviously i won't show you those but um the actual tag is so cute it's just a little blue bone it's tiny and it's got a little like silver bone in the middle as well so at the moment as i said it's a little bit big for him and he doesn't like it at the moment <laughs> so i mean it is only tiny but for his neck he's so tiny anyway right the next thing i'm going to show you is this now this is his harness when we're in the car we do use this it's still a bit big but i do hold it too so this is his tiny little harness it is a wainwrights so it's like a tweed type of um texture and it's got a cute little bow with yellow orange and blue little dots and then the back is like that so this is like a, like a leathery um effect so this is really really sturdy because we did look at some and some looked a little bit flimsy which i'm i'm just a bit careful with things like that so we've gone for this which to be honest we do prefer this so this is really good so it's literally just a clip and then it's got a double d ring so you put the um his lead through there and then obviously this will be so say his head is here it's like that so this is like on his breastbone and then he walks like that so this was 12 pounds and it was from pets at home it is a extra extra small it's still a little bit big and this is even on the smallest setting because this can go bigger so as he grows but at the moment he will grow into it it will be fine the next thing we did is we brought this it can go on his collar it's only a small little bow tie i think that was probably two to four pounds it wasn't a lot of money at all so this was from pets at home as well and it's actually really really good so um and the one good thing with this is a portion of the proceeds from the sale of the product will go towards helping less fortunate dogs so i think that's really really good and this like i said goes on it's just like a elastic um like an elasticated thing so that's good for that his lead i've taken it out the box so it comes with a box realistically for a puppy that they do have specific puppy ones but the puppy ones is tiny i find for me but for sean being a man he's got large hands he could not get his hand in and obviously that's no good when we're going to walk him so what we've done is we've had this one this is flexi it's made in germany it is from pets at home i think it was 17 or 18 pounds it wasn't the cheapest one but we prefer you know we just wanted a bit better quality one so this one is for a large dog but it does fit on his clasps on there so it does work so this one's just a flexi lead and then you can do whatever you want so it don't go and that's that and then all you do is you clip that onto his little harness and then off you go for a walk but it's, this one is really sturdy and it is really really good so um obviously when we take him out for a walk only time will tell but i this one is really good and it did have good reviews as well that was pets at home and then the last thing from there is we got this it's a safety restraint for him so it's a universal so there's different there's three different um clips that basically depending on your car so um and then what you do is you clip that into here into the seat belt slot and then you clip this onto his harness so he can only go you know a short he, he can't run around in the car because obviously it's you know by law it's to do the highway code you do have to restrain your dog so that's what we've done with this this was actually four pounds now we was going to buy a different one from pets at home it was an actual harness one you basically it's a harness restraint but for an extra, I think that was £20, I didn't see the point doing that when he's got his own harness that clips onto there. And then, because he will be wearing that when we're out anyway. So there's no point taking this off to put another one on to do that. It was silly and I know he wouldn't like that. So, it, so that's why we did do this. 
and like I said this was pets at home and this was only um, £4 so cheap as anything that one so the next thing is I'll go on to treats now these treats we got these again from Aldi now these was 2 99 a bag and these are a 500 gram normally i think they're five or six pounds so we got really good on these the, the wag treats the training it's for dogs eight weeks old plus so he didn't have these until he was eight weeks old so these are oven baked they're low calorie and they are like mini bones not real bones but in the shape of the bone the beef chicken and lamb so he does love these but i'll show you now basically like they're not well they are only small but what we do is we break them because he's only tiny as well so that's them he loves these so he is absolutely obsessed with these ones and then these ones are low fat the exact same for dogs eight weeks old plus these are turkey and rice and they are heart shaped as well and he does like those he does like wag so that's that and then on to the puppy pads now the puppy pads we always use these for the rabbits to go into their cat litter um tray and then we put the recyclable newspaper cat litter on top so they have always used these so we have stuck to these for milo as well so these are the just for puppy the training pads these are a hundred pack for $12.99 and we love these so literally these are just you know as you'd expect a puppy pad they've got the sticky at the bottom these are brilliant we take these when we take milo out so in the car take spares these are brilliant and to be honest we find they work really really well for us because um obviously like i said we always use them with the rabbits and we've chose to do it with milo too and they are brilliant the next thing is clothing now everybody to their own people say oh well, dogs are, you know they don't have to wear clothing they don't have to wear clothing at all but we have brought in them he's not going to be in them all the time he will be in them you know in the cold or so you know when he's going out for a walk things like that to keep him warm and yes he has got a coat but still i want to keep him warm so these ones was all of them are from the range i've not got the exact price i know in the ballpark of what kind of pricing they were so this one says who let the dogs out and it's a cute little like vest it's only tiny these are still a little bit big for him them tiny with the arms and then there's a slit so it can you harness you put the harness on and then you put the clothing on top so it's all safe for him that's that one the next one is this sean had to get this and it's called this is just one for in the house type thing it's got security on so he he's like a little uh, security dog again it's very big for their arms so he's got that one and then this one it's kind of like a, a call of duty kind of thing so i sure had to get that too these are extra small they're the smallest they do it's got search and destroy and this was 199 actually that was 199 that one was about 199 and this one was 249 next one is this little raincoat again this one's actually got a slip for the harness so it's basically got little dogs on it's a like a velcro -y one and that's it got little some way you could put a treat in or something like that that one was 349 i think it was now this one is for the winter again it's got a slit and it's got like a little zipper here this you can take off so you can take the hood off but that's that so we can you know move freely and things like that it's just for in the winter really that one was £5.49 I think that was this one he has wore he's actually got um 
think I might have put a picture on Instagram with this one, but if not, I will do that. It's a, I think it's got reindeers on, it's for the winter. Again, slip for that, for the walk-in, and also this is Velcroed as well. And you can take the hood off and you can use that. It's actually really nice, like a fleecy effect. That one was £4.49 or £5.49. And then it's got this, which says Obedience School Dropout. Again, you can put the harness on for it. It's like a little bomber jacket, this one. And then that. So he's got his arms. They're all like a Velcro. And then... He has got this. This one has got, if you're happy and you know it, lift your leg. Just like a little like vest type thing. That one was $1.99 or $2.49. And then this one was only $4.49, I think it was. And this has got a hole so you can take him um, for his harness as well. And it's just like a cute little like jacket really. These are just like things that we, you know, for pictures in or if it's cold, things like that. But he's not in them permanently at all. And I've done that, done that, done that. Right, on to food now. So the food he has is the, when we got him, he was on Royal Canning. He's on, he was actually on the Puppy Mini, so this one. This was 12 99 for the two kilo bag. So he's been on that. Now, what I have found though, if they, Royal Canning do not state whether it's chicken or any type of, you know, turkey or any meat. It does not state what it is. So that just makes me think, well, I want him to try, you know, different types of foods and things like that. So he's still on this. So what we do is we feed it. It's only on small portions, obviously, because he's tiny. So we feed him a little bit of this and half of the other one because we're weaning him back, well, onto the this new food. So this one's the James Well Beloved and it's the puppy, turkey and rice. It was two kilogram. This, I think, is normally, is it £10 or something like that? It was on sale for, from, not for, it was on sale from Pets at Home for £8. But because I've got the VIP card and I've got it on a app on my phone, I actually got 50% off. So I only paid £4 for this, which is super duper. But that's amazing. So that's it. This one's turkey and rice. And to be honest, he absolutely loves this one. He really, really does like this. So basically, with this, he only has literally, it's like, a little bit of this a little bit of that and he he does like it so we're eventually going to take him off the royal cannon and he'll be just on james well beloved that's not my dog that's next to us so um so yeah this is everything i've got what i'm gonna do is i'm i'll go and show you this um go and show you all his bed and his crate and things like that so i'll go and show you that now so this is the crate it's actually quite well for his size it's quite big i think this was the small or the medium from pets at home i think it's 42 pounds something like that this um sean's actually done a display for him some have you teddies this is actually from pound stretchers and that was actually 5 99 this is the shampoo we've got it's the animology and it's puppy love it smells absolutely beautiful so that one was five pound 50 and that was i think 5 99 then that's his water bowl we use a puppy pad there's little boy asleep he's so tiny <laughs> this is actually what he came with so it's had his mum's puppy smell this is the bed this the bot this actually comes out so we can wash that but i'm not going to move him because he's asleep so that was 12 pounds from pets at home the monkey in the back has got little rope legs and squeaky my mum and dad brought him that from i think it was pound stretchers and then the lion at the back that was i think it was 4 pounds 
and it does squeak that is from pets at home as well so this is his little crate and there the beautiful boy is he's so tiny <laughs> he literally is so so small so i hope you like my puppy haul stay tuned for next week's vlog you will finally see my little boy milo so go check him out on instagram also smash that thumbs up button also like and subscribe to this channel that will be amazing also go check out our joint channel and also sean's gaming channel too all the socials will be down below so see you soon on next week's vlog bye